Ladies and gentlemen, so <coughs> today, something a little bit different for you. We got a little taste, a little sampler, a little appetizer of Mama's Boys podcast, the new podcast I started with my man, Omar Isaf. Uh, it is a non-fitness podcast. We want to talk to people that we enjoy talking to, influencers, coaches, Instagrammers, YouTubers, podcasters, celebrities, whatever it might be, and let you hop in or be the fly on the wall or join in with the conversations that we like to talk about. Talk about things that maybe we don't do all the time. So for us, it's non-fitness. Maybe it's movies or music or sports for myself or Omar. Maybe it's video games, books, uh, jazz, etc. So today's episode, we have the one and only Mr. Joe DeFranco. This is a coach, a human that I've looked up to for a long time, not only for his uh, knowledge and his experience within the industry, but also as a businessman. He was one of the very first people I ever watched on YouTube. He's probably the number one guy that inspired me to get into coaching strength and conditioning, coaching basketball players, rugby players, football players in the weight room. He's revolutionized how people do that, not only business-wise again, but also in his methods. And he's also had such a broad reach of the athletes he's worked with, now working with the WWE, Triple H, Brian Cushing, a bunch of very elite athletes. So if you're interested, give this little highlight reel a chance. Check it out on iTunes. Check it out on Spotify, Stitcher, or mamasboyspodcast.com. I think you guys will appreciate it. We're dropping episodes every... Do you know what it is? Two New episodes are dropping every Tuesday and every Friday. So be sure to subscribe on iTunes. Give us a rating and review. It's much appreciated. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, WWE. That's what you do. Yeah. Main gig now or what? One of the main, yeah. one of the main gigs. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I only go, I train Paul, Triple H and Steph twice a week. I drive to their house, but, um, I do all their program. They travel a lot. So yeah. I do all their programming, go to their house twice a week. And then they opened up that they started the performance center, which is basically like, I don't want to call it minor leagues. Cause there's a lot of guys that have been wrestling for a long time, but Kind of their their feeder system to the WWE, um, basically like a, a a college program to the NFL, or whatever. It, it would be a good example of it. And when I first started training Triple H, he had the idea to open up this performance center that he wanted to be like this NFL type facility and basically breed all the wrestlers there, so they didn't have to go looking for them all over the world. Yeah, yeah. So then they hired me as a consultant to design that that. Uh, the weight room aspect Dope. of that facility, hire a strength coach and implement more athletic type training because they're all training just like bodybuilders yeah, yeah. for the look, you know, yeah, but yeah. they, they start having a lot of injuries. And that's what, no, that's, uh, Orlando? Yeah, that's in Orlando. And then they have headquarters, Connecticut or something? Yes, Stanford. Yeah. Mike Stanford. acting like he doesn't know. It's like, it's Connecticut, I think. I knew it was in the yeah. area. I used you, to you, want, you got your resume? You want me to put it in there? Dude, I, there you go. <laughs> well, have, so actually, hold on. Let's uh, get I got into some this. WWE what would be No, but what would be, so everyone, like I was uh, talking with uh, Mark Bell and he was explaining everyone has a shtick in yeah, like, yeah. wrestling. Like, you got to look, yeah, yeah, look a certain yeah. way. And so he said kind of like, I, I forget what he called me, like a Canadian, whatever, because I'm from Canada. I yeah. got the bandana, the long hair, yeah. whatever. So it's, it's a look. It's that what would Mike's shtick be? Like, what would he do? You know, everyone comes out. Like, Hulk had that iconic. I'm, just, I'm so versatile. Long. Oh, he's too yeah, what would be your man. Come on. Ultimate way. Warrior. All the classic go wrestlers anyway. are iconic because, A, they physically stand out. There's some sort of, and their personality. You're saying Mike doesn't physically stand out in That's any which up, way, dude. so we have to figure out a, a really good gimmick for him. Personality has to take over. Yeah. Look, I you got mic skills. I don't know how I can handle in the ring. Skills. But I think That's I got mic skills. Hey, so. Uh, it's more important. It's way more important. More important. Joe, you don't train like Roman Reigns or anything? No. We're about to talk shit. No, no. So I was. So I was actually my videographer um, really likes wrestling, and we I have a connection through Kofi Kingston. Yeah, uh, is a he's bought uh, shirts and stuff. So we got tickets to see a wrestling show recently, and he was giving me the rundown. But I think uh, it was definitely Roman Reigns. were just on the mic. He does a terrible job. He's jacked up, <laughs> just, yeah. just like, which is he's, like just hyping it up and like yeah. just talking and being charismatic. I was super surprised. There were, there were people that were on. Like I forget uh, Mike Owens. I think is the guy's name. Oh yeah, the little uh, oh okay. Kevin no Kevin Owens. Kevin, Kevin Owens. Owens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas like he was great on the mic. He, he doesn't look like he could do much. Yeah. And no, he's but, he's super athletic too, Kevin yeah, Owens. But so he's funny. he's great on the mic. Yeah, yeah. which is more important probably more important than your wrestling skills. Because yeah. if you look at all the, the big name... They weren't great wrestlers. Hulk or? Hogan, uh, even The Rock, I think. And I don't I don't know technically, but, you know, um, 
Macho Macho Man was considered a good wrestler, but like Ultimate Warrior, yeah, guy, yeah. people who know wrestling would say technically He's they not. weren't great wrestlers. Yeah. But they're all, you know, they're they're legendary. Yeah. Everybody knows them. That yeah. era was amazing with just Stone Cold and the Stone Rock Cold, because they're the Rock, so good yeah. on the mic. Oh yeah. Uh, I think uh, Stone Cold the same. Some people thought he was a pretty good wrestler, wrestler. But yeah. the point is, like, if you can hype up a crowd or get people behind you, like, who cares? I think about you the got the hype, it's all the potential. Story. Boat. You were talking before about maybe uh, what getting a mullet. Oh, and, we're doing uh, that dying just for the Oh, for the podcast. Yeah, hey, you mullet. You must. You got me here. I I rarely leave New Jersey, See? so you got me here. Wow. You did some good we job are, hyping I, up. Hey, I'll put this way. Maybe you could be a manager instead of a wrestler. I would be down uh, because I'm getting old. I'm getting a little beat up. I don't want to. <laughs> You're getting old. What does that make me? I don't, don't want to like, half dead. <laughs> I don't want to get off the top ropes anymore. So maybe I'll just talk. <laughs> yeah. I'll go for Roman Reigns. What, no, who can't what, talk. Yeah. What was the What was the dude? Uh, the Undertaker. What was the guy that he had that always you know with the bags under his eyes? Paul Bearer. Yeah. 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 You could be that. You could, you be, could that be a guy. Paul Bear. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, he's gross, but I'll be, a, I'll be a <laughs> the more less gross. Person. Paul. Yeah, the more handsome. WWE's version. funny because all those guys are just meatheads. Yeah. You know, like talking to Stone Cold and those guys. Like they just like to lift weights. Yeah, yeah they're, they're like fans yeah. of you yeah. know, like a lot of people in our industry, which Everybody. is funny because they're yeah. mega stars, but they'll yeah. they'll be fans of it's people really in our cool. industry. It's yeah. cool. There, there's a few that used to be actually like lifters. Too. There's yeah, that power lifter. I'm sure Braun Strowman or Strowman. Yeah, yeah. He was a strong man. Yeah, and so I met him when I think he was at is it what of the training. Facility. Yeah, he, that's what I briefly met him at yeah. the performance center. He's super like his cool. First, yeah, super. Very athletic, too. Yeah, I think he was on the way to uh, potentially go to World's Strongest Man and stuff. Yes. He just jacked up his shoulder a little really? bit. I saw him, what, I mean, I what is he, six, 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 seven, like 350 pounds? Yeah. I walked in there, he's doing like a 52 inch box jump. Yeah. I remember like, walking beast. by him and just looking at him and being like, how, do you, how much do you weigh? Is yeah. it like 350, 360? Oh, yeah. And he's just doing like sets Stupid. of five or whatever. Like 52 inch boxes. That's a lot of those guys. A lot of those Crazy. guys are good athletes. I mean, obviously, The Rock plays some. Uh, uh, out of Miami, which is top level D one. Yeah, uh, but even Stone Cold, I think maybe Texas Tech or something. He played college football. Like he was a, like a one double A or D two yeah. Texas school. John Cena played at Springfield. Yeah, yeah Cena's a good uh, athlete. Yeah, he's good mic skills. Cena's yeah, he's a got funny good dude. Mike he's a funny dude. He's got good mic skills. <laughs> but yeah, there are uh, uh, Paul Triple H is like a huge fan of bodybuilding and yeah. the fitness industry. Like he knows all the, everyone in our industry. Yeah. That's how he found me was just like Googling stuff that's and looking sick. up. He would, he liked researching training yeah. himself. And that, that's how he came upon my stuff. And yeah, now but, we've been working together for eight years. You've been, well, no, like I remember reading your stuff. I'm going to creep up on you hard here now, but on Teen Nation, the <laughs> yeah, well, well, can, can I say this? Teen Nation you days, bro. You don't creep too much because <laughs> I see you don't even follow me on Instagram. Oh, it's going to be, it's going to be fixed now. That's it's going to be fixed now. No, and here's what, yeah. I'm a spiteful uh, bastard because uh, I'm an uh, Italian guy from New Jersey. Uh, oh, yeah, so us. driving in, are I'm like, are you, are you, oh, are you a front stabber or a back stabber? I'll go both. I'll okay. go, for, yeah. I'll, or I'll go so hard through the front it goes <laughs> out your back, back. Yeah. straight out the poop hole. I, no. I was like, oh, let me just go and do Mike and Omar's no. podcast, and I He's see like, Omar on Canadian. Instagram, and I go, Messed up. fuck this guy. Yeah. Is it? What? I, Messed up. I, I, yeah. I, Talk about disrespect. It's messed Melbourne. up. I mean, it's messed up. I agree. It's interesting. I agree. He's I, Canadian. You know, I got, they're supposed to be nice. But so the, he I tried to butter me up, saying he liked my eyebrows. No, I walked in here. my match because I <laughs> someone has even better eyebrows than myself. Yeah, the, the gig is up. So I'm gonna riff on on that for a little uh, second. Brad Schoenfeld, Doctor Brad Schoenfeld, yeah. uh, gave me a little shit too because I wasn't like following him on Instagram. But like we've been friends on Facebook. I filmed video. I, I didn't even know, like. So here, here is. Let uh, me hear the excuse. The here's here's yeah, the, the here's the assumption. Is there's Insta thoughts on uh, Instagram, so like girls that post like IG modeling, all the girls and all that who stuff. follow, continue. right, right, and then there's uh, like YouTubers and social, and then people that actually have careers, so like a oh, Brad Schoenfeld, yeah, those are those people. that no, like yeah. a Brad. It's like yeah. he, so he a he doesn't use it like as a promotional tool, yeah, right? It's yeah. just for himself. It's like it's a professional thing. Like maybe he'll have like thirty photos. Like everyone that I assume that's established in the industry. Like let's say like Joe, you've trained. Uh, I'm I'm blanking on the dude's name. Houston Texans. Brian, Brian Cushing. Yeah, yeah, when the line he said that always. Got me hype where he said, I want to be the most dominant physical monster on the field. He said, like, I remember like those videos and like some of those photos and stuff from uh, the T Nation days. Anyone that's like established, not that I assume they don't have an Instagram, but it's like, it's like whatever to you. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. it doesn't matter. Like, maybe I, you'll I, check, maybe that, you that, I'll, That's yeah. somewhat acceptable. Yeah. I'm, I'm old and I don't have Instagram. <laughs> I, I, I didn't say I old, bro. Just, <laughs> so, like, so no Brad hair, said, no. Brad said I don't the same know thing how for, to turn on a computer. Uh, <laughs> Brad said the same thing to me because, uh, like, I met up with him and stuff. And then he asked me something about Instagram. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know you had an Instagram. He's like, why wouldn't I have an Instagram? And I was like, oh, uh, but I'm impressed with online and stuff. So, no disrespect. I'm buying it. I would, be, I would be honored of, if you stabbed me in the front, though. <laughs>
Brad Schoenfeld. I always uh, fuck up his name. You know who I'm talking about. I, I call him Jack Christopher Walkins. Yeah, because wow, he kind of sounds like that. <laughs> we we have a ton of mutual friends. I've never met him personally. I I, I don't know. Maybe um. I guess I look up to him as well because I didn't know he had an Instagram up until about a week See, ago. Here we go. I just started yeah. following him about a week ago, uh, and I was we, like, we bonded over the people we don't Same thing. I figure 100%. he was, you know, he's doing his research, and yeah. he's not going to be on Instagram. And it, I, yeah, I was like, wow, he's got an Instagram. Yeah, like, like Joe, and he does post some good stuff. Some you're training, yeah, you're, yeah, exactly. You're training, I just followed him recently. You're training superstar like WWE yeah. NFL. Uh, people, like NFL. It's like all right, like this, this is like Instagram means like what to you? Like I don't know. Like, yeah. are you on it? It, it yeah. is. It is kind of true. The the when I was training athletes full time, I did way less. You know, I, I I was one of the original kind of YouTube people, yeah. but it wasn't yeah. like vlogging and consistency. It was. Hey, I'm training an athlete. He's about to do something 